yo yo what is up everybody great to have you here again and as always i'm your dude light Liger here and today i'm gonna be talking about energy swap which was back in testnet in february and a couple of days ago it actually made it to its own mainnet and in this video i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to basically use energy swap what you basically need to know when you're gonna be interacting with this amm protocol so the first thing you obviously need is MetaMask. And since Energy did its, you know, change from its original blockchain into being compatible with the Ethereum mainnet while being also a masternode coin at the same time. So you basically need a MetaMask and then you need to go into the Networks tab and then choose Custom RPC. And here you will be adding the following details. I'm going to link this actual article down below where you can find all the details so you need to add energy mainnet as a name rpc url very important chain id symbol and the block explorer and then you're basically able to access energy's mainnet and hence then you're able to log in to the actual dap now the following thing is very simple we're going to be swapping energy into another asset so there is around 30 different assets being supported here on energy swap. It needs to be said that as of right now, there's not exactly a transparent um, account which shows you which assets energy has in store. So we have to take their trust that they have gathered these assets and basically they are tradable. In later down the line, there is going to be a real Ethereum bridge. So any token that exists on Ethereum blockchain can be bridged over to Energy's blockchain and traded on Energy Swap. So I'm going to be just choosing something here, probably an Ethereum token, um, because obviously I would usually get those, but they are very expensive on the mainnet when, when it comes to trading. So I'm just going to be choosing something here. Uh, there's also a lot of, you know, other blockchains, Tron, NEM, XLM, Monero, XRP, a lot of things to choose from. And then we obviously have wrapped energy, which obviously when every time you do a trade through energy into other token automatically wraps them up. And so I'm going to be just getting EFI. I'm going to be swapping two energy into that and it will give you um, how much is going to be the price impact, how much is going to be the liquidity provider fee. Next up, we're going to be doing and confirming the swap. A MetaMask will pop out and will ask us to basically do the transfer. And here we will be seeing what is going to be the actual transaction cost on the Block Explorer per trade. And that is very important because, as you know, it is very expensive to operate on Ethereum. So how much we're going to be, you know, having the cost in terms of the actual blockchain when we're going to be transferring and providing liquidity on the exchange i'm going to be refreshing this and it's probably going to be taking a couple of seconds to go through and it is around one cent in terms of the tx fee you can probably lower the gas we use 20 guay i think i can do probably 10 even but it's going to be taking a bit longer time to actually go through but we are roughly seeing one cent or below with the swaps and pooling is probably going to be the same amount um, right now, uh, we're going to be, now that we have gained some EUFI and we have some energy, I'm going to pull them into the liquidity and we're going to be choosing the same pairs we just bought. And always when you're going to be pulling up, there's going to be the same amount in both tokens. So it's going to be $2 worth of this coin and it has to be $2 worth of that coin, for instance. And here we can see the share of the pool, how much we are owning of the actual thing. These approval things have to be always done. Um, it's going to be significantly lower cost than the other. Uh, meanwhile, that goes through. They also have the charge page, which allows us to see basically uh, how much liquidity and how much transactions have been done on the blockchain. So there's 4 million worth of energy and energy pairings here, consisting of DAI, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Uni UFI, Aave, a lot of different tokens. There's around 40. Is this around 40, I think, um, in total? 43 different tokens, or that's actually pairings. So around 40 tokens, give and take, are being supported as of right now. 
and the volume is changing sometimes a thousand forty five thousand back in the March tree and today we are seeing at around eight hundred dollars and I think as more uh, bridges are actually built up we're probably gonna be um, assuming and seeing a lot more traffic in it but obviously you can also um, view your own account details so I can paste my address here and load account details and I can see my liquidity so after I've actually provided so the transaction went through now we supply it confirm supply and confirm as of right now I don't think there are any farms ongoing on energy swap so there's not exactly that much benefit on pooling in obviously we'll be getting those rewards from the swaps but I think at some point they're probably going to be doing some type of a farm here on energy swap or it might be run by a third party and there might be even, a, you know, energy might be distributing tokens for the people who have been using their uh, DAP here again. So uh, something you might want to consider uh, interacting and let's go back into uh, the DAP we just opened. Now that we have provided the liquidity, it should be showing up here on our accounts. And every time now that somebody is basically uh, doing a trade within these two pairs, I will be getting money. And this is how much we have made so far. 0 0.001. That is less than that because I don't think there has been any trade since we just traded on this particular pair. And we can see the actual liquidity here as well. And that's how it basically works. If you want to remove the liquidity, go to the pool and then... Uh, click the drop bar and then just click remove and put 100% or the amount that you want to be draining out from it and then just approve and remove and then basically that's how it's done. Um, overall, um, energy swap seems to be on the better end in terms of the fees attached to these transfers. But obviously, as I said, they're not currently exactly bridged on a decentralized way. And that might, you know, shay away certain uh, customers. But once they actually build those bridges up and you can really bring those tokens up on a decentralized way, I think there's going to be more interest for swapping sites like Energy. Obviously, I'm more excited for the Energy X exchange, which I'm hoping to come uh, is coming out really soon, hopefully, because what they are building seems to be a lot more interesting idea than another AMM swap. But obviously all parts that are integrated into the DeFi ecosystem are always good and bring more utility and ways to earn for many people inside their blockchain. So that is a good thing. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, in case you want to support me, here is my energy address where you can send some tips. And obviously, you can share and like if you have any comments. Leave them down below in the comment section below. And I will be seeing you guys next time on the next video. Cheers.